Hey guys, welcome to another games programming lesson. Uh, last lesson you would have learned how to create an enemy object and when you collide with the enemy um, you subtract one from the number of lives. Today we're going to go one step further and program the enemy to chase you around. So this is what it looks like. So other than you being able to control your character and chase down the blue gem to get to um, oops. other than you being able to control your character to chase down the blue gem we're also going to program the bug to chase you around um, so when you do touch the bug what happens is you reduce the number of lives by one and uh, so for example right here live subtract one um, live subtract another one and then so the bug will chase you around which makes it a little bit harder so the bug touches you again then you're dead and it's game over so let's pro let's uh, well, you guys can figure out how to do that first before you look at the tutorial because it's often good for you to try to figure things out yourself first. And you should be able to do it since the programming is very similar to um, programming the collision detection between your character and the blue gem so you pretty much use the same kind of coding with uh, some minor variations to get the bug to chase you around so have a go at it and come back when you're ready okay so here is the coding for it um, so basically I have created a function which I am calling uh, every time the timer ticks um, so the function is called chase and there are two input variables the bug and the boy so let's go down to the chase function and this is what happens here for the chase function uh, firstly there are two input variables object 1 and object 2 and you can see how it's different to the collision function because for the collision function I use the uh, by val in front of the object specifying that only the value of the um, object is passed into the function whereas the by ref uh, statement says that the actual object is used inside a function so I'm changing the property of these of these objects in the function itself so use by ref object 1 as object by ref object 2 as object okay now let's have a look at the coding it says if the object 1 dot left plus object 1 dot width is bigger than object 2 dot left then object one dot left uh, minus one. Okay, so what's what's this saying? Actually, uh, I think it's time that we start typing some comments in the programming, and the reason for that is because obviously um, it's going to get too confusing for people to figure out the program when there is too much code. So to type a program all you do is you press the uh, quotation uh, sorry not the quotation the uh, the ap apostrophe uh, key on your keyboard and that allows you to type a comment uh, which means that it's not part of the code but it helps you to remind you um, what what the code is so this code here is saying that if the uh, enemy object is to the left 
sorry, is to the right of the character the enemy object will move to the left right that's what this first statement is saying the second part the second if statement is saying that if the enemy object is to the left of the player character of the player character I should say not just the character uh, the enemy object will move to the right Right, so that's what this code here is saying, right? If the object dot left plus the width of the object is to is smaller than object two, which I'm gonna use as the character, is smaller than the character's x position, then we're gonna move it to the left, uh, move it to the right. So object one, which is the enemy dot left, which is the x position, is gonna plus equal one that means increase by one and then similarly uh, if the enemy if the enemy object is uh, not to the left uh, higher is lo is lower than the player the enemy mod object will move up and uh, the last part, if the enemy object is higher than the player, the enemy object will move down. So that's what this code does, and you can see that it directly modifies the object's properties, so we don't need to return uh, any values whereas the previous collision detection function we returned either true or false uh, in the chase function there is we don't we're not returning anything okay so let's go back to the timer so you can see that we call the function here chase bracket the first object is the bug the second object is the boy and this takes care of um, all the all the code for the bug chasing the boy um, another thing you need to take care of is when the bug and the boy collides uh, we want to subtract one from the lives and uh, another thing is uh, we also want the bug to reset the position back to somewhere in the middle of the game so it doesn't collide with the boy again as soon as the uh, game starts again so I'm going to type the comment here reset position of bug and this was to reset position of boy and the same thing happens uh, w down here as well um, when when we start a new game we want the uh, we want the position of the bug to reset as well so when the new game is when the end key is pressed we want to move the bug and the boy oops what have I done uh, reset position of boy okay let's run this again just to make sure I haven't stuffed everything up Okay, so as you can see, um, so I'm going to die three times, game is over, I click OK. When I press the end key to start a new one, to start a new game, the bug and the boy both reset back to the original position. Okay, so I hope uh, you guys were able to program this and uh, see you again for the next tutorial.